Hello and welcome along to episode 1 of a brand new Football Manager 2018 series. This is on Football Manager Touch and this is one of the challenge modes. So as you can see, we've started a challenge with Manchester United and it's the injury crisis. So we've been welcomed to Old Trafford with a lovely task at hand. Trying to live up to the board expectations despite a large number of senior players being injured. So firstly, let's see which players are out. And we can see we've got our injury update here. The key name at the top being David De Gea, who's obviously probably the star player at Manchester United these days. He's going to be out for four months, so that's taken out the majority of the season. We can see that all of the rest of the players seem to be attacking midfielders and strikers, which will probably leave us with a slightly imbalanced squad, but we'll have a look at that in a minute. We definitely need to address that in the transfer window if possible, because bar Lukaku, they all look to be two or three months or longer. OK, so let's have a look and see how they've been doing this season so far. So they're actually up in second in the league, only a point off the top, which isn't bad at all. But with the depleted squad, I imagine that will probably change quite quickly. Doesn't look to have gone quite so well in the other competitions. So obviously the FA Cup hasn't started yet, but we look like we've got a relatively friendly draw. They lost the Super Cup final. They went out in the first round they were in in the Carabao Cup against Blackpool. And they've gone flying out of the Champions League and haven't even got through to the Europa League either. OK, so let's look at the board expectations and what they want from us. Bear with me on this screen. It's not something I normally play, the Football Manager Touch Mode. So it's a bit new to me as well. We'll learn together. OK, so competition performance. That's what we're looking for. OK, so in the Premier League, the board expects us as a minimum to qualify for the Champions League. So a top four finish. In the FA Cup, we need to reach the final. And the other two were already out, so hopefully we won't be judged on them. No, that's fine. OK, so let's go and have a look at the players we've got left and see what we're going to be using as our tactic for the first game. OK, so as you can see, we've had to go for a fairly defensive formation with effectively a back five. I know they're wing backs, but they're quite defensive ones. So it's effectively a back five and only the one up front. Martial and Rashford are the only two attacking players we've got fit in the squad, really. So my hands are a bit tied with this one. So... We are playing a sort of similar formation to Chelsea the year before when they won the league. We'll go through the starting eleven in a moment, but firstly, let's just go and have a look at our first run of fixtures. So you can see they've actually been in a good run in the league. They've just played Chelsea and Tottenham and won both games. The first game we're facing is away to great rivals Liverpool, which obviously isn't an easy one, but I can see they're in their team news. They're missing Mo Salah, so hopefully that will benefit us. They've also got a few others out injured, but obviously nothing in comparison to us. The other thing we've got to be wary of, we've got a game in two days' time at home to Bournemouth. So how are we going to keep this very small squad fit for both games? I'm not quite sure. And hopefully the youth team will be good enough to beat Bournemouth in a week's time. So let's just go and have a look at fitness as well to see the position they're in. The good thing is the majority of the team look fairly fit. So they're all 95% plus for condition. So no worries there. So let's get into our first game against Liverpool. And we've looked at the tactic briefly, but let's go and look at our starting eleven for today. So, in goal, we've got Sergio Romero, obviously due to De Gea's injury. The defence we've been able to pick at first choice, really. So, we've got Jones, Bailey and Lindelof as our back three. We've got Luke Shaw and Matteo Darmian as wing-backs. And that's because we've had to push Valencia into a more attacking position. The two centre midfielders are going to be Matic and Fellaini. Matic is the only real star player that's left fit. So, hopefully, he'll be able to perform for us and be that... Island of brilliance that Jose Mourinho wanted in midfield. Uh, our two attacking wingers are going to be Valencia pushed forward from the right wing back position and Martial on the left and up front we've got Marcus Rashford, the academy prospect. So hopefully all will be well because we haven't got any attacking subs if one of them gets injured. So let's get into this first game. OK, so Liverpool are playing a far more traditional 4-3-3. They look to be almost at full strength to be honest. So... Obviously, they've got a dodgy keeper, as many say, so hopefully that will work well for us. But let's see what happens. Obviously, because we're in Football Manager Touch Mode, we've got no team talks. First thing we notice is how slow the game is, so let's go and speed it up a little bit. OK, so we've only got key highlights on. We're not going to worry too much about watching the whole game. The one thing I see from Liverpool is they seem to be a little bit less fit than us. So hopefully later in the game, we might actually be able to benefit from that. We're just on a standard instruction. We're not trying to dominate games and we're also not going to worry about defending like Jose does. We're just going to go for a pretty standard approach to the game and hope that 
we can better some of Liverpool's talent, or at least have the fit aside towards the end. But that's not a great start. So Lalana scored for Liverpool, and we're one 0 down already, despite having three at the back. Fifteen minutes in, we haven't really looked like scoring at all. One shot on target so far, and Liverpool seem to be dominating. But set pieces is the area which we need to dominate. We've got a huge side, obviously the two big midfielders, a big back three. I know we haven't got any of the bigger strikers with Lukaku out injured, but it would still be an area we'd expect to dominate with Liverpool's frailties at the back. But again, Lalana just seems to be tearing through us. And now Jordan Henderson, who I mentioned being unfit, is the one who scored against us. The 20 minutes in, we're 2-0 down and we might need to go back to the drawing board a bit here. We're being advised to go for a more direct approach with the passing. And this is just going disastrously wrong. We're 3-0 down already and Dejan Lovren's unmarked from the corner. So we talked about Liverpool being weak at the back from set pieces and it only seems to be us who have got that problem. I can't see a way out of this. I'm not going to change anything for now because hopefully we'll have a couple of new signings by the next game. But this is not the start we were hoping for. And as I mentioned, I think we'll be flying back down the table quite quickly until we can get reinforcements in. I guess the one saving grace is that Lukaku's only out for three weeks, so hopefully we'll have him back soon. But I might not make it to the second game at this rate. Oh, that one's been disallowed for offside, which we needed, because this would get quite embarrassing otherwise. Still not even half-time. Liverpool dominating again, and there we go. There is the fourth. Oh, no, that one looks offside again, so... We're getting away with murder here. It should be 5-0, really. There's not much happening in terms of the attacking intent from us. Obviously, we've got quite a small front three without a real focal point, but we just don't seem to have any creativity. Almost every pass we've seen on here has been backwards and then giving the ball away. And Valencia on the right, he's got the ball through. Rashford now, he can use his pace. And can we dominate from here? He gets it across to Martial. And we have got a goal back just before half-time. The two front men using their pace. And they're going to have to do it alone if we're going to get back into this game. Because we don't have anyone else there to help out. Just about to be half-time. But Liverpool have got a chance to score again first. And Firmino's header to for Virgil van Dijk, who's put it over the bar. It is half-time with 3-1 down. Fellaini's on the yellow card. No surprise there. We've been dominated in possession, we've been dominated by attacking play from Liverpool and it isn't looking very good for us at the moment. But let's start the second half, we'll give it 10 minutes and then if the worst comes to the worst, we'll go into things there. So Fellaini apparently has a shot, but again, not much to shout about and not worth a highlight. The focus of the attacks, you can see all of ours are coming down the middle. We've just gone for the sort of hit and hope approach over Rashford's head and hoping that he can outpace Van Dijk and Lovren to get there, but it doesn't seem to be working, unfortunately. We're coming up to the hour mark, and again, unmarked from a set piece. This huge side with three centre-halves, Fellaini and Matic, and we're just not competing from set pieces. And Firmino scored again, and let's go and make some changes now. So all of the back three, all of the back five, in fact, are having awful games. Valencia struggling, but we haven't got much we can do in the attacking positions. So let's go for Chris Smalling to come on for Bailey and Jones to be replaced by the natural left footer of Rojo. And we'll see if he'll become a ball winning defender. No, he doesn't want to do that either. So we'll just stick with a centre half. In midfield, really, we want to take Fellaini off before he gets sent off. But is there anyone better to come on? Let's bring McTominay on. Give the youth prospect a bit of a chance. He can stick with the box-to-box. -box. There's not too much of an issue there. Triple substitution. I doubt it will make any difference. They're all defensive players because that's all we've got. The only attacking player, as we've mentioned, is Ashley Young. And I'm not a big fan of his, despite his exploits at the World Cup. So we will just leave it as it is. Nothing seems to be changing. Don't seem to be having any shots. We just seem to be in a position where Liverpool are comfortably controlling the game. And it will probably peter out into a 4-1 win here by the looks of things. Liverpool haven't even made a sub yet. They're probably confident with what they've got on the pitch at the moment. And again, every highlight, every bit of commentary seems to be about a Liverpool attack. So I don't think there's much of a chance of us getting back into this game. Conceding four is obviously the big concern moving forward into the January window. The only position where we haven't had a number of injuries is in defence, yet that seems to be the position we've struggled the most, which is a bit of a concern. Obviously, De Gea being out is a bit of a worry, but 
we can't really do anything. We can't spend all the money on a goalkeeper when we've got seven or eight attacking players out injured. We're going into stoppage time now and it looks like it's going to be a disastrous first game. Sadio Mane's coming into the box and he nearly got the fifth from a set piece but Romero actually manages to hold on to one here. So, not the best start. We need to sort things out for two days' time for Bournemouth. Hopefully most of the attacking players will be fit. Here's Valencia though. Before the end, can we get a goal back? A consolation? No, Robertson wins it straight back and clears again. Matic in the midfield. Tries to get it out to Martial, but again Gomez intercepts and they're countering again. Mane, easy, through butter through the three defenders. And Romero saves, but the goal's wide open for Lallana. There's something on with this back three. It's not working at all. And I might have to think about changing to a back four for the second game. Because this has been absolutely disastrous. And I don't know. I might get sacked after my first game for a 5-1 defeat to Liverpool. Again, possession squandered in midfield by supposedly the best player we have on the pitch. That's it though. It's a 5-1 defeat. And we are looking in pretty bad shape. So the back three is something you're probably not going to see again. We'll go and play a few more games now. Let's go and see what they've said about this. Just a mauling. They're talking about the success of Liverpool and we've had an absolute disaster there. Anything exciting happening? They've talked about the struggles with the injury crisis. To be honest, I don't think that's an excuse for the defending in that game. Gareth Southgate coming to watch and I don't want to talk about Watford. For those of you who don't know, I'm a Luton Town fan and that is not what I want to see in my first news story. Anything else? Oh, it's about an unbeaten run coming to an end. We've been eight unbeaten before that, apparently. So let's have a look at our cu at games coming up and see when the next one will come for. So we'll try and get through the January window, bring in a couple of players and get a few wins under our belt and we'll come back for the Manchester Derby in February. So our next game will be Manchester City away and hopefully we'll have a bit more better news by then. That's all from this one. Thank you very much for watching. If you are new to the channel and you did like this episode, please put a thumbs up on there. And remember to subscribe to the channel for more regular content and more episodes from this Football Manager Challenge with Manchester United.